Welcome to Beja Lifestyles, where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. As you can see, we are out in the hot sun on beautiful Pebbles Beach. We're going paddle boarding and I'm taking you along with me. Let's go. is the one-stop shop for everything SUP stand-up paddle in Barbados. Offering the island's best SUP lessons and tours and the largest variety of rental equipment, including paddle boards, surfboards, kayaks, snorkels, and boogie boards for rent at Pebbles Beach or at your location on the island. Their excellent team of trained and friendly instructors will have you paddle boarding and surfing in no time. We're here at Pebbles Beach and we're here with Tremaine, who is about to teach me how to stand up paddle boarding. So, right? So. Practice. Uh -huh. So why, why did we do this? So that's for posture. So you don't be leaning over too much. Ah. So you don't be stretching out too much because then you feel it in the side. Okay. So you want me like centered over the board before leaning. Okay. Right? So you could go stand next to your board. Next to it. Yeah. So the first thing we start with is the board itself. Mm -hmm. So your board is facing the ocean, ready to go out. That's the front of the board. You know, obviously that would be the back of the board. Okay. This cutout, as most people will call it, that's the handle of the board and it's also the direct center. So all balancing should be directly over the handle rather than in front or behind because that would throw the board off balance. The paddles, the very top here, this is the handle of the paddle. In between going down, this is the stem of the paddle and at the very end, that's the paddle blade. That's what's going to push you around in the water. And this face of the paddle blade should always face you this way. All right, I mean, if it's backwards, it still move, but it's a lot more comfortable on the hand. Yeah, you pull a lot more water with this side. You put the board down anywhere way side, the paddles, they float, so you never leave it in the water. Gotcha. Horizontally across the board does the trick, and the paddles are gonna stay. The board is a wide surface area. It's only gonna be way side, you can easily hold the board stable and climb on. If you need help getting in, it can help you in as well. Okay. When you first start, it's a lot easier, and it's wiser to start on your knees as well. Just so you get familiar with how the board is gonna go straight, left, right, all that kind of stuff. So right now you can come on your knees in line with the handle. Remember that's the center point. All right, having them a little wider than shoulder width is gonna anchor you over the board. If you got them too close, it's gonna be easy for you to fall off. You can take the paddle up. While on the knees though, since your height has been shortened, you don't have to hold the handle because then you find yourself trashing too far out. Okay. Snugly on the stem of the paddle is going to be perfect. Now you know to go forward, you reach out, grab the water and pull it behind you. But to go straight, you want to rub the paddle against the board. So both hands, so the paddle is diagonally okay. across the body. And when you reach out and pull the water behind you, while you're making the back stroke, you're going to rub the paddle against the board. All right, so let's see you do that. Where's the paddle on the other side, you never cross the arms up like that. You swap the hands completely. And remember, thumbs up. It's a cool sport, not a bad sport. So, thumbs up all the way. Nice, closer it is to the board, the straighter you will go. So I got a little question for you now, to see if you understand the physics. If the closer you paddle to the board, the straighter you go, will you think it would be the turn left or right? Remember, the closer you paddle, the straighter you go. If you want it to turn, what do you think you're going to do? I would need to go on the opposite side. Right? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, further away. Further away. For sure. And so both of those terms, is both are exactly correct. If you paddle further away on one side, it's going to push you to the opposite yeah, side. Yeah, it's going to keep turning. It's circles if we keep going up. Correct. So wait on the right, you go to the left. Wait on the left, you go to the right. Getting to the feet is pretty simple. You can't just stand up. If you were on the land in the water, it's gonna be a little tippy. So I'm gonna teach you how to stand with minimal tipping. Powder comes down in front of you, just in arm's reach. So if this were my hand over here, like what you have between your knees, and got the paddle just right here. Flat palms are gonna distribute your body weight evenly. Hands are gonna be over the paddle so you can easily grab it. 
and will the hands are down, you just swap the position in your knees with your feet one at a time. One Me, at a time, yeah. not, not both. Not both. So you go one, two. One, two. Yeah, we practice, you can show the agility and jump up with both. So for the beginning, you just go one, two, grab the paddle. Because <laughs> when you stand up, you don't want to be going back down for the right. paddle. So you just grab that one time and eliminate that out of the process. Stay in place, the closer it is to the board, the straighter you go. The wider you paddle from the board, the more it turns. But a trick for turning, mm -hmm. and it, the biggest trick in paddle boarding is bending the knees. Oh, okay. If you don't bend the knees, everything is gonna be seen like 10 times harder. When you bend the knees, mm -hmm. it compresses the body weight, making it harder for you to fall. Okay. All right? You have a lower center of gravity and you engage a lot more muscles. Mm -hmm. So it's a workout too. Yes. The abs, the thighs, the glutes, obliques, everything. All right, when turning, the, the arm at the bottom, whether it's the left or the right, whichever side you were turning to, you just slide that up a little more. You get a little more leverage on the paddle and you can sweep further out. Right. It, the board must turn. So remember, white on the right, you go left. White on the left, you go right. If you happen to fall, like I said, if you happen to fall, this is as far as the board can get from you. One end is attached to the board, the other is attached to you. All you would do is reach. So this end is attached to you by the ankle. Yeah. So all you would do is reach for the ankle for the card and pull the board back towards you. No, I don't think you can pull it that hard that it can come back to your face, but when you pull it and it comes back to you, you place the paddle across the board. Remember the paddles float, you place it across the board. You will catch your breath because you never know, you may be out of breath. Everything seems harder as well. So catch your breath and you climb on from the middle of the board. Then coming back to the beach, you're gonna come back over this side because remember the waves and the shore break, you don't want to be caught in that. Yeah. So you want coming over this side, you're gonna average with the little cemeters we have today, what's where you say, yeah. you get off where you say. You always look behind you to see if any of the waves are coming. Yes. Keep the board at the side, you walk in. Okay. Remember, it all goes together by just bending the knees. Yes. If you're standing tall, the moment you paddle, you can be Grab dancing it. on the board. Bend the knees and I can my knees. give you the power that you're looking for. Bend my knees. Oh. All right, good luck. I don't think you would need it. And enjoy the paddle. <laughs> Nothing like your smile in the morning Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave Actually, more 
exhausting than I thought. It was fun, but it was exhausting because you really got to use your core. You really got to use your knees to balance. But once I got a hang of it, it was smooth sailing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.